and welcome to 10 Minutes Earlier. Today is the weekend special. You guys are all getting out of school. Summer's about to start. Uh, it's just you know, this was this was always one of the most exciting times when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. You get out of school and you've got all these plans for the summer. Things that, you know, you think you want to do and all this extra time. But a lot of times, I just spend that all my extra time just sitting around and watching TV. Yeah, that, that's what happens to everybody. You say, well, I'm going to do this, I'm going to read so-and-so books, and I'm going to play at the pool every day, and I'm going to do this and this, and then you really just end up staying home watching YouTube, which is okay if you're watching our show. So, you know, stay on YouTube and watch 10 minutes earlier. Um, you know, all this week, the past two weeks, actually, we've been talking about grow. Grow yourself more in God. Grow your own spirit. And it's been absolutely phenomenal. Today, we're talking about drawing close to God. You know yeah. our Bible verse for today? Well, the Bible says if you'll draw near to God, He will draw near to you. He always so, does. So when you're making your plans for this summer, whenever you're making all your plans to go to the beach or the pool or whatever, I want you to make sure that you don't get distracted by TV or by video games or whatever, mm -hmm. and you put time in there for God, that you intentionally make plans to spend time with God because you'll find that during the summer, it's going to be one of the opportunities that you are going to be able to grow more than you could ever imagine. Yeah, the whole rest of you, you're stuck in school all day learning that uh, Hey everybody, welcome to Why Don't You Just Wake Up When You Want To. This is our end of year summer edition. Me and Cheez It are here, and uh, you know, for you guys who don't know, Cheez It is my bird friend who refuses to be seen. I'm not just any bird, Max. I'm an African Grey, the smartest bird you're ever going to meet. Yeah, yeah, the smartest yeah. bird ever actually created by God himself. Yeah, in the intelligence yeah. range, I'm the highest. All right, African Jesus. Grays. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Since today, since everyone's getting out of school and whatnot, and summer's getting ready to start, I thought we would talk about our favorite summer activities today. Oh, yeah, you know we've got them. Nothing like laying in the... In a nice park on a big, big blanket with some all the different flavors of Cheez-Its all together. You know, white cheddar, Phineas and Ferb edition, spicy, uh, all the flavors. Uh, and there's yeah, yeah, months yeah, on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, Cheez-It, hey, look, I was going to ask you about that. Um, you know, I was at the grocery store and I discovered a new product and I was going to ask you about it. And uh, this product is called... Cheese nips. And uh, personally, oh. you know, I like them a little bit better than cheese Hold nips. on. Those are despicable. No, uh, I'm, uh, I'm taking these. Uh, not no, on my show. No. They are not going to be cheese on it. my show. Give me some. Stop it. Cheese no. it. No. No. Oh. oh, I cannot believe you did that to me again. Don't you ever bring cheese nips on my show again. Cheese it, this is my show and I'll bring what I want no, on No, it's not. It's my show. And if you ever bring cheese nips on here again, you will see my wrath. I tell you what, Cheese it. Oh, I don't even like the, that these guys had to see this. I tell you what, you guys go on. We'll see you next week. Just whenever you feel like getting up, I'm going to deal with Cheese it. No, you're not. You can't even God, see cheese me. It. Uh, how about some cheese nips? <laughs> Well, that was a disaster. I mean, yeah, Max. If Max <laughs> really knew cheese at all, he would know. Do not even no. mention cheese nips. Yeah, I mean, when he used to be on our show, oh, I remember one time I goodness. brought in a box of cheese nips. Someone gave it to me. I was just eating it as a snack, and he like flipped out and had like a full nervous uh, breakdown. I've got one better. He was crying. He's been. I bought cheese nips one time just for our house. Oh, just for I our house. That. And he comes in and he's like, "Is there cheese nips here? I can I'm smell like, them." Oh. Anyway, oh, like drama Max should have known, known better than that. So, anyway, we've got Whatever. lots of great stuff today. We've got some things with Toby, and we're going to talk more about how you can grow this summer. Uh, hey, Jessica, w what are you doing here? Don't, don't you have school or something to do? Oh, no, Toby. School is out for the summer, which means we get to spend every hour, every minute of every day to isn't that wonderful? Uh, hold on, wait a minute, Jessica. Are you telling me you, you don't have to do school anymore? Yep, I do not have to go to school anymore. I only have to go to school in August, which gives us three whole months together to do whatever we want. Uh, did, 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 
Did you say three months? Now listen here, Jessica. I have important things to do here in the daytime. I don't have time to go smelling flowers with you. Uh, um, well, uh, don't worry, Toby. Um, you'll, you'll get used to our new schedule. Um, first, we're going to wake up together at 7 o'clock. Then we're going to have a tea party. Then we're going to do crafts and do each other's hair. And then we're going to go pick flowers. Oh, this is going to be the best summer ever. Uh, uh, no, it's not. And if you think I'm waking up at 7 o'clock, then you really do have a few things rattling around in that head of yours. Uh, um, uh, oh, Toby, you know, you are so cute when you pretend that you're angry. Of course you're going to get up at 7 for a tea party because I'm your owner and that's what I want. Well, for most of you, school is out and summer break is here. It's an exciting time. The end of the school year is one of the times that we can physically see that we are growing. We end one grade and soon we're in another. The summer is a great time to use the things we've been talking about for the past two weeks and really grow spiritually. It's amazing how in our spirits we are not limited to how much we can grow like we are physically. You aren't going to see a three-year-old that's six feet tall and weighs 200 pounds, but you could see someone who's just been saved for three years be very grown up spiritually. The key to spiritually growing is doing the things we've been talking about for the past two weeks. Reading your Bible, prayer, worship, submission, sacrifice, along with all the other things that will help you grow. I want to encourage you to find some extra time this summer to spend with God. If you will draw near to him, he will always draw near to you. That means the more time you spend on your relationship with God, the more you will know him. No matter what you have going on this summer, make sure you include building your relationship with God so you can continue to grow. Hey, Toby. Hey, Jessica. How's everything going? Why don't you just ask Princess Jessie? Everything seems to be going great for her. Oh, yes. Everything is going great. I just finished school, so me and Toby get to spend all of the summer together. Wow, that's nice. You know, you guys must must enjoy your time. Hold on. You listen here, Jesse. I'm not going to be putting up with this. There are two things you don't mess with, and that's my sleep and my food. And it sure looks like you want to mess with both of them. Ugh. Whoa, Toby, you've got to calm down. Uh, I, I just can't help it. Nobody told me that Missy here would be out of school the entire summer. I do lots of things in the daytime. I'm a very, very popular dog, if you know what I mean. Yeah, you know, Toby, I'm sure you're a popular dog, but, you know, the Bible says that we should submit to our masters. Hold on, now wait a second. She's my master now? Where does this end? You know, Toby, the Bible says that we have to submit to our masters. Yes, Toby. If you want, you can call me Master Jessica now. <clears throat> wow. Yeah, you know, Jessica, the Bible talks about masters, too. It says to be a good and fair master. You know, when we're a good and fair master... It helps us because God is the ultimate master. He's the master over all of us. And God will deal with us like we deal with the people that are under us. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to see God drag you out of bed and make you do ridiculous things. Toby, Jessica is not doing ridiculous things. You two just need to work together and come up with a good schedule that can work with both of you this summer. Okay, Toby, let's go work together on a new summer schedule. Uh, oh, oh, okay, Jessica, but this schedule better include banging strips. Bye, everybody. Bye, you guys. Huh. 
I hope for Jessica's sake there is begging strips in that schedule. He looked pretty mad. Thank you for watching 10 Minutes Earlier today. Parents, if you like this episode, please share it on your Facebook. It really helps get the word out about what's going on here. Also, if you haven't already, click that subscribe button, everybody, so you can see new episodes every day except Sunday. All summer long, you can get up and spend time in the Word and get closer to God with us. Thank you for watching. We'll see you Monday, 10 minutes earlier.